welcome back to yet another day in the life. It's gonna be a very, very busy day building my trillion dollar startup. Usually start my mornings by either meditating or going on a walk because, you know, why wouldn't I next it is time to get to work. There's a bit of a problem though that I have with the app. I'll explain later. Today I want to show you some of the progress that I've been making with my app over the past few days. I've sort of spent a lot of time thinking about like what is actually the vision of this app. In case you're not aware, I'm building like a personal finance application, but I don't just want it to be like an, just another budgeting application. There's like things I've been doing with the vision side of things. Uh, the other thing I'm going to show you is how I've been able to get really sleek and nice looking styles for my app, even though I have absolutely no design skills whatsoever. And the last thing I want to talk about, just some of the things that I am doing as a solo entrepreneur and solo software engineer to stay productive because there's a lot of things that I've really been doing like tweaking with my lifestyle and the way I live to maximize my focus because I just believe that if I can find a way to just be able to sit down and work for more hours, I'm just gonna be able to outwork everyone. I actually wasted so much time in my previous life trying to learn to code completely in the wrong way. But just building my app has taught me so much about coding that I just, for like a year of just learning and building these like small stupid apps, I could have just learned so much faster if I just started by just trying to build something bigger right from the get go. So like that is what I recommend to you guys. If you want to learn to code, just, just freaking start building something, like now, today. And I feel like a big thing that stops programmers from actually trying to build something bigger is because programmers are not designers. They feel like, well, I don't know how to create good designs and designs are really important. So they feel like they have to go and learn all the CSS and all this fancy stuff, when actually all you have to do is this. Now the styles I used are like these ones are here. I paid for these, but you don't have to pay for these. Like you can just go and find free ones from online or something like that. And essentially like this is how you get your apps to look really good. You just literally like you go find templates and you just copy them. Like it's not more complicated than that. So straight away right now, if styling was the reason why you aren't starting with your app, there you go. Like I've just freaking fixed it for you. So I went from this to this in just like two hours of work. I think I've deserved a lunch break. I've started eating what is known as like a slow carb diet. Basically the idea of it is that I'm eliminating all like fast carbs. So essentially all sugar, especially all uh, fruit, uh, bread, these kinds of things. Now, because what happens when you eat these fast carbs is like carbs that absorb really quickly in your body. You get these crashes of you probably have this feeling, right? When you have a massive meal, like two hours, you just have this feeling of being lethargic and you just can't really focus really well. So I always had this. So now that I've stopped eating those kinds of fast carbs altogether, I basically don't get these crashes at all. And, but yes, this does mean that all my meals are basically very bland. But it's also because I am actually trying to get very lean for this summer because I am starting to get pretty fat. So for that reason, I am headed to my favorite place to eat here in Dubai to have a very delicious salad. looking for like a breakfast, brunch, or just like healthy food, then that place is the place to be. Mondu, highly recommend.
Well, I can't believe all those people just wasting away at the beach when you could be, you could be working, you could be coding. What could be more fun than that? So this month for me is all about working on my startup. Last month, so the month of March, I was more focused on YouTube stuff. I was building out my course. By the way, if you want to learn the skills to become a Python developer, check it out. Anyway, I'm basically going to be coding every day. So if you like seeing these kinds of videos where it's like vlogs of me actually coding and like sharing my lessons from the process, make sure to like the video so that I know that I should be making more of these in the future, essentially. I've been having with building my app that I'm learning as I go through the process that because I've never built something like this before which is like wherever I build anything I always try to build something that's completely different to what I've made before because that's how we learn we learn by making mistakes and doing stuff we haven't done before but the issue is that I keep trying something like some technology or some database thing for example that's the thing I've been working on and then because I'm not sure exactly what's the right one I'll start using one thing and then I figure out okay this is probably not the best way and then I have to like rework the code or like what's the word um, like refactor the code completely to use something else and that takes a lot of time so that you know it's just the reality of app building you constantly refactoring stuff uh, but I should probably just stick to one thing and then just like at the end if it doesn't work, then I have to change it, but then I might end up wasting a lot of time and stuff. This stuff tends to take a lot more time than you imagine because of these kinds of things, but you know, I enjoy it. That's why I do it. I love the challenge. So I've just installed GitHub Copilot for the first time. Like, is there something I'm missing here? Because for me, it just doesn't seem to work. Like, it's supposed to auto-generate code for me, right? But I tried to, like, write this currency converter function, which should be something quite basic that you should be able to do. No, that is just not how you do a currency conversion function. No, 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 no. Let's see if ChatGPT can do a better job. Da, 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 da. See, that is a functioning currency conversion function that ChatGPT can do for me, but GitHub Copilot cannot. I guess I just don't know how to use it. Please help me. Okay, dinner is done, coding for the day is done. We're gonna end off the day with a coaching call, which I'm gonna start in 10 minutes with one of my coaching clients. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you enjoy these vlogs and if you wanna see more. I sort of, where, where I wanna take this channel is more like, number one, I'm gonna keep going with the normal like how to learn the code kind of videos, like learning stuff, which is like the stuff that I teach. But also I wanna have more of also documentation. So I want this channel to be a mix of education and documentation. So documenting the things that I'm doing right now, which is building my startup and teaching the things which I have already learned. And if you want more details, you can go check out my program, Python Developer Masterclass. If you wanna learn the programming skills from me and not only the programming skills, but also skills like getting hired, uh, about productivity, habits, this kind of things that I've literally spent years studying and doing and learning. So that's gonna be linked down below. In any case, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and remember that you can do a lot more than you think. I'll see you in the next one.